Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Today I'm here to announce that radio is dead. <music> FM radio has actually been sick for a while now. They've added more and more commercials and the selection of music is getting smaller and smaller. Meanwhile, music fans have moved to the internet. And there's two sites that are at the forefront of this. One is called Pandora and the other is Last FM. Both of these sites allow you to basically create your own radio station by entering preferences of what type of music and artists you like and then they find selections and play them back for you. So you can listen to almost commercial free music nonstop all day and give thumbs up, thumbs down, look up more information about the artists and really enjoy your music, not a radio station programmer's idea of what they think your music may be. Now with the release of the iPhone App Store, something really changed. You see, there's iPhone apps for both of these online radio stations. So you can download the Pandora or the Last FM radio station app and have this on your iPhone. So what does this get you that you couldn't get on the computer before? Well, it gets you portability. As a matter of fact, both of these I've tested and they were great in the car on both the Edge and 3G network. That means you could be driving along, have your iPhone plugged into your radio and listen to the music you want to listen to on the station that you've created. And you can do this while driving to and from work. So what's the point of listening to music on FM radio anymore? So let's take a look at Pandora first. Just go to Pandora.com and you're going to want to create your own account. Once you create your own account you can enter in the name of an artist or song and it'll start to play music that is similar to that artist or song. You can then give thumbs up and thumbs down to the music and it will hone in on your exact likes and dislikes. Now you can create several radio stations. So if you like say jazzy folk music but you also sometimes like hip hop pop you can go ahead and create a radio station for each one of those and give some thumbs up and thumbs down if you feel the music fits in that station. So you can create different stations for different moods. Once you've gone and created a bunch of radio stations in your account, you'll be ready to move on to use the iPhone app by logging into that account. So Last.fm is basically the same idea. Go to Last.fm and sign up. They have a slightly different way of finding the type of music you like but you can create various different radio stations and it will play music and you can say that you love a song or you can ban it from your radio station. Once you have your account set up with all of the different stations that you want, you can also move on to the Last FM iPhone app. So all you need to do to get the Pandora and Last FM applications is to go to the iTunes Music Store in iTunes or the App Store on your iPhone and search for Pandora or Last FM. The Pandora application launches and this will work whether you're on your Wi-Fi network or on the Edge or the 3G network. Then there's all the different radio stations you want to listen to. You go ahead and select the one that you want and it will download the first song it needs and start playing that. Now doing this on an Edge or 3G network creates quite a gap between songs but it's not too bad. Likewise, the Last FM app also takes a little bit of time to initialize and then it will come up with your songs once of course you've signed into it and allow you to choose from your radio stations. You get views of album covers and you get the ability to actually go and buy the music at iTunes or find more information about it using both services. Now both of these apps are in the very first versions released just in time for the opening of the iPhone App Store so they're both a bit buggy but I'm sure there will be bug fixes and feature improvements as time goes on. Now right now they're both pretty much commercial free but I heard the CEO of Pandora say that eventually they're going to have short sponsorship type ads mixed in between the songs. I gladly have those rather than having the obnoxious monster truck rally type of ads that you have to put up with on FM radio. So try both these apps. They're both free to download and completely free to sign up for both of these sites and get going on them. I highly recommend them. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig at MacMost Now.